It's 2024 and we still play Xbox 360. Let us explain why. Welcome back. I'm Scott. I'm Jen. And we're going to talk about Xbox 360 today. Yeah. So the whole idea for this video is... Everybody's talking about Xbox 360. Everybody's talking games. about Xbox 360 games, but we're not going to like get these games now. No, because we uh, think we're past that point. Well, we I, we have a lot of Xbox 360 we games, and we played a lot, a of, lot Xbox of Xbox 360, 360 games. games. So we're going to tell you why we still play Xbox 360 games in yeah. 2024. Uh, yeah. We've got some stacks. And we're just going to we pull them out and talking. There was a lot of games, but we didn't want to bore you guys with, you know, an hour and a half long video. So we put them into categories. So this first category is probably mostly hack and slash. So that's what we're going to go with. We have a good healthy stack of games. Okay, first first on the top. Yeah. One player games. You have Darksider. Darksiders, so I played it like probably the year after it came out, so it's not quite fresh in my memory. No. But you did just play it. I did just play it. Because I recommended it. Yes, you did. You recommended me a bad game, then you recommended me a good game. Good game. This is a really phenomenal hack and slash. I would say it's kind of God of War ish, kind of Dante's Inferno ish. There was a lot all of. All in that inspiration. Yeah, in that area. Yeah, it's really, really, Next really one. great. Everybody's favorite librarian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bayonetta. And you played this one. I loved the first Bayonetta game. Blew me away. Loved it. Yeah. Loved it Joe. so much there that I had to play the second one. Didn't care as much for the second one. I haven't played the third one yet. But I would recommend putting this one in the machine and playing it ASAP because I don't think it's very much. And you're going to have a good time. Again, another game I didn't play. This is yours. I played this one. This one yes. here is a very short game. I don't think it's more than like maybe four to six hours. And it's fantastic. The art style fantastic. Devil May Cry HD collection. These Getting the first three yeah. Devil May Cry's on there. I think this is the best way to collect any Xbox 360 games that, you know, if you don't want to spend a lot of money but you want a good amount of bang for your buck. So you played the first Devil I did, May Cry and on I this. played it on this. I played Devil May Cry for the first time on PS2. Yes, you did. And it's really, really great on the HD collection. I got it was still great today and I hadn't played it all that long ago maybe three years ago maybe maybe yeah. it was really good one of my favorite oh. hack and slash god of war clones yep. is Dante's Inferno and I would just talk some blasphemy and say I enjoy Dante's Inferno better than the original god of wars yeah you do three or this one better three better but this one's right after yeah, I'm yeah. saying God of War 3. I know you didn't then love that one. I know you didn't love the first one, but yeah. the first God of War, but we're not talking about God of War. Again, another one I didn't play, another one you played. Aren't they remaking this? Uh, Wasn't that the whole hype of like maybe two years ago? Was that pre COVID? Yeah. Was it going to be, we're I getting thought, a remake of Lollipop Chainsaw? But I, I thought, yeah. I haven't heard anything. Now I haven't looked anything up on my phone. It's a fun game. It's probably only maybe six hours long. Yeah. Uh, hack and slash. You're a uh, cheerleader and you're hacking and slashing some zombies uh, with the chainsaw. This is one of my favorite games. Uh, this is the way I played it too. I have it on both systems, but this is the way I played it. it. It's just a phenomenal hack and slash. It's a dark Alice. Anybody that looks at this and goes, oh, it's probably a kid's game. Well, she's holding a bloody knife. <laughs> Not like a bloody knife, like she's holding a bloody knife. It's a knife with blood on it. It's a bloody it's, knife. It's not a kid's game. It is, it does serve you Alice, but in a very dark way. And I I can't imagine anybody wouldn't love this if they put it in their system. Well, I, I'm in the midst of playing it now. Yeah. The art style of it's really fantastic. I love the, the Cheshire action. Cat in this. Yeah, it's It's really cool. good too. Like, Just, I'm not that deep into it. I'm only maybe a couple hours into it. Yeah, so but I, too much. I thought the voice acting as well was phenomenal. Next category will be mine, and yes. it's going to be Couch Co-op. We have Splinter Cell Conviction. Mm -hmm. Couch Co-op, split screen. The last mission there, I remember being my son. It was just complete chaos. We had, we had a lot of fun with that one. Now, this one is first-person shooter. Yeah. It is um, supposed to be horror. You're two players. One guy is a basically a ghost. Yeah. Life. You, have, you have like psychic powers and stuff, and then the other guy is basically Call of Duty. The yeah. Guy there, you're running around shooting. That's who I was. Well, we're just gonna mention all four all of these together. All the years of war. All of them. Yeah. Oh, you got four of them on 
the Xbox 360. You have one, two, three, and, and judgment. judgment. I know a lot of people didn't care for Judgment. Uh, my son, the, I think that might be his favorite out of the four. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed them all. You guys enjoyed them so much, we branded our game room with Gears of War. You made a sign to go on the front of the bar, and then the brand new stools yeah. we bought, you uh, you made a stencil for Good everything. cheap way to get into Gears, Gears of War, play these four, and then when you get into actual Gears of War 5 and 6, you're, you're, it's even better. Yeah. 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 Every time I think of Gears of War, I think of the tomatoes. That little alone that worked on this ass alone. You know what it's like being a hermit, fixing a house? It's no Home Depot out here, you holes. Tomatoes. It's my tomatoes up! This one here is a bit pricey now. I'm glad I picked it up when yeah. I did, but it's Ultimate Alliance Gold Edition. Gold Edition meaning that it has basically all the DLC on there. Yeah. So it's already up there in price, and I think it's gonna just continue because yeah. of the store closing. Four player, mm -hmm. top down, pretty damn cool. And the last two are Army of Two. Yes. Now there is three in this franchise. Army of Two, there are three. The last yeah. one is uh, Devil's Cartel, and quite honestly... You guys hated it. We didn't like it at all. Yeah. It's not even the same two characters, you're two other characters. I loved the first one. Yeah. Loved the first one. Uh, the second one, you can tell there's quite a few things that are different. Yeah. My son liked it a lot more at first, and probably about halfway through the game, I, I started getting into it more and more. Both of them really good. So that's a lot of co-op. A lot of co-op, but there's so much more co-op. There's more co-op even amongst the games we have here, but they also fit into other categories. Speaking of... Combo packs. So you could put the Devil May Cry you HD You could definitely put that HD the collection in there. We're not going to spend too much time on this because we haven't played every game on these. I've played some of the first A little bit of Borderlands, but, but I haven't played that much of it. I played Limbo, Bioshock, and Half-Life 2. I did play a little bit of Portal with Alex. I have to get around to playing Portal. I know how much people love it. Limbo is a phenomenal game, and I have this on a two-pack, I think, on PS4 with Inside. I like to rock out! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Um, this, is, this is a problem for us. Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Mm -hmm. And Rock Revolution. Has anybody ever seen this one, Rock Revolution? I know I've played it at least once, and I mm -hmm. think when I played it, it was a little bit janky. But we're going back and we're looking at some of the songs in the back. I'm yeah. like, shit, this thing is rocking. There's some bangers I mean, in this thing. we have these, we have a lot of these songs that we bought on Rock Band. Yeah. I don't even want to well, think about how much money we spent on Rock Band. We have over 300 songs that we probably have bought over the years. Yeah. Now, do you, I want to think about what happens when the Xbox One store closes? That's, what I'm, like that? that's what I'm terrified of. <laughs> and something happens to my machine? <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. I don't even want to think about it. Um, but on huh. this, like Guitar Hero, we have Smash Hits, Warriors of Rock. Warriors of Rock is really good. It is really, really good. One of my favorites. Uh, two, three, Aerosmith, and Metallica. Metallica rocks. Metallica is impossible to play in Rock Band. I don't think you can play it on Rock no, Band. So a... I think it's just with Guitar Hero. Yep. And on the uh, flip side, I yes. don't think you can play ACDC on Guitar Hero. I don't I think, think you can. I think you can play it on Rock Band. Yeah. Also Megadeth too, I do believe. Ooh, yeah. Because yeah. we have a ton of Megadeth. So I've got Rock Band one, two, and three. We have Green Day. Mm hmm. Green Day is pretty freaking awesome. And ACDC. Yeah. All our <laughs> rock band first. instruments are Xbox 360 stuff. Yeah. And then you get the adapter and you know, we hook it to our Xbox One. That's where the entire library is. <laughs> Not only do we have all of this, we have so many guitars and drum sets. And I've broke so many drum sets because I think I might actually she's, be in the band. She's broke at least a couple drum sets and, and sticks. multiple sticks. And I sticks. Think. I just, ridiculous. Yeah. RPG RPG, land. there's just a couple. I mean, I don't think Xbox 360 was known for its RPGs. I'm gonna tell you what though. We played, we both played these just recently. I don't know what that is, but I'm telling you, this is friggin' <laughs> fantastic. This is also really, really good. It was a recommendation It from can't Sam. be better than this. It can't be. Well, I haven't <laughs> played it, so I can't. <laughs> why do we get, now, we have this multiple ways, but why do we get the 360? And it also says oh. at the top here, Signature Edition. Oh. There's a reason why we wanted it on the 360. Because I, I, have, I have it on the PS4. Yeah. I have it on the Xbox One. But when this came in the mail, because I bought it recently, she's like, 
why did you get the Xbox 360 edition? Yeah. I'm like, Jen, because... It's the signature edition that comes... It has the map. The map. They don't all have the map. And I feel like there was and some it, content cut out of the PS4 edition. I feel like they the kind of... The fact that uh, you're opening that up is made just a, stressing me A little me less the, racy there than it was there. Whoa. Yeah, you're stressing me out just opening that I'll up. Settle. I'm afraid it's going to... Settle down. Settle down. Both great games. Uh, you can be good or evil in Fable 2, which was really cool. I, have cho of course, chose to be Jen can good. be either or, depending on what side of the nature rules out. Well, I mean, if I roll over you onto the other side, I'm probably going to be the good guy. <laughs> okay. Gonna whip him out. This is just one shmup. One or shmup. Maybe a cute em up. I it's think more this of a cute em up. Like, if you haven't Especially played... Especially at the end, it gets real cute. It gets real cute. I think toddlers could play this game. And that doesn't mean yeah, it's it not difficult. fun. It is super fun, but it's not difficult. Saying that, we probably played it on either easy or normal. Oh yeah, probably. Because this is not our genre. No, shmups, we almost never play shmups, but we had a hell of a fun super time. Super fun, super fun, super short game. Yeah, it didn't you take can, us long. You can play through that probably you know, at least in an hour. Oh I yeah, think. yeah, I an think hour so. or two at the most. Last category, gotta go with some survival horror. We got some These are not here. gonna be everybody's favorite because I know some. You people know what? You know what? Don't love. We did a, a top 10 co-op yes. video not that long ago, and I couldn't believe in the comment section how many people said Resident Evil 5 is in there. He's a top 10. He was, well, it's a 10 out of 10 for them. I, I couldn't believe it there. I'm like, I love it. I really enjoy the game too, but because I hear so much negativity about this one, and even this one too, but more about that one, yeah. I thought that nobody would admit that they liked it. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was the only one that said that these are awesome. And now this one I like more because it's more modern controls. Yes. And I, the story crosses over a whole bunch in this there's, one. It's you're playing four different... different stories. Yes. And like four different campaigns and they cross over in the timelines yeah. for that whole event. Now I am almost done playing that. I have played through five. I'm almost done playing six. I'm yes. playing it with my son. And right. we're having a really fun time. I have to play one of the missions with his off, don't I? We'll see, see if he plays the last one with me or not. I've played, well, I've played five at least twice, if not three times. Yeah. I've played six. I wouldn't be surprised if I played four times now. I know. Through. Yeah. And the very last game, Dead Space. I have not played the new Dead Space, and I'm no hurry From to play it. From my understanding, new... people are saying you don't even need to get the remake. Now, mind you, mind you, the remake was really well done from yeah. what I've heard. But I played this one and I was jumping in my chair. I don't do well with aliens in outer space in a game, but maybe that's a goal for this year is to play more games like that because I'm getting a little desensitized yep. from horror. That's a lot of Xbox So that's a lot of games. reasons to play Xbox 360 in 2024. More than just they're going up in value. Yeah. I, I, I get that if the, you- You know what? The good thing about it is most of these games aren't going to go up in value. There's the, the triple packs. There's a couple of them here and yeah. there. But most of these games are there's abundance of them. Yes, they're they're going to be easy to get a hold of, or you know what I mean. Like you have ones that are on both systems. All right, um, in the comments, guys, I'm thinking about doing more Xbox 360 content this year, and then maybe in the next month or so. And not just because <laughs> it's really popular right now, but because it, it's really popular right now. No, it just kind of. <laughs> Put it on our radar how much we really, really love our Xbox 360 well, collection and we don't talk about it. I had an Xbox 360 before I had PS3. Yeah. That's that's the console I went with with that generation yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I got, I don't even know how many games I got. So many games. You'll look up on our app. I think it was like 209. I'll, I'll count it and then I'll maybe, I'll put it up here. Yeah. What would you like to see for Xbox 360 content? Let me know in the comments, guys. All right, until next time, game on.